All right, guys, so today's review is going to be on moments for Raheem Sterling. Obviously, a big transfer from Manchester City to Chelsea. This card is coming in as a central forward for once. Obviously, Sterling plays quite a lot off the left and right, sometimes in the middle, but this one has been moved into the middle. It's going to cost you an 86, 85, and 84 rated squad. We're currently in the second batch of preseason players coming into packs, you know, with the best Team of the season, shapeshifters, etc., etc., going into packs. And Raheem Sterling is first in terms of the SBCs we're going to be getting. This one's got 99 pace, 98 dribbling, 96 shooting, 92 passing, and 80 physical. He's five foot seven, high medium, right footed with five star skill moves, which is definitely an upgrade and a four star weak foot. In terms of traits, he's got the two best traits on the game with the outside foot shot and the finesse shot. If you guys remember back. Maybe six months ago, maybe maybe a little bit less than that. Raheem Sterling got a player of the month card, I believe, was 91 rated. We actually reviewed him and he was absolutely bonkers. So this card is definitely one to keep your eyes out for. I've got a feeling he's going to be really good. Obviously being English and Chelsea as well. Obviously lots of good links, especially to the likes of St. Max, um, to any other Premier League futties. Salah as well, <clears throat> another great one there. But... You know, this card looks brilliant. Let's go into the attributes now and have a look at his actual stats. So he's got 99 for acceleration and sprint speed. Oh my God. 99 for attack positioning and finishing. 97 for shot power and long shots. Volleys and penalties quite low, but largely irrelevant on this game cycle anyway. He's got 94 vision, 91 crossing, 96 short pass, 86 long pass and 96 curve. But he does have the finesse shot, so that's already up to 99. 99 for agility, balance, and reactions with 96 ball control, 98 dribbling, and 97 composure. Wow, this is a very, very, very meta looking card. Now, for chemistry stars, I'm actually going to take you guys to Futbin if I can quickly enough. Um, let's go over to Futbin. Hopefully, Raheem Sterling is already on there. And we're going to have a look at chemistry stars. I feel like it's a better way to do things um, to bring you to Futbin instead of me just talking about it. So Raheem Sterling's here, as you can see. So he's coming in as a 97 cam. Now, before I even went to Futbin, I thought cam might be his best position. I think we can improve him in the cam role as well. So first of all, first impressions were a dead eye. So what a dead eye does for him, goes up to a 98 cam and centre forward, goes up to 99 shot power and long shots, which is the boost we kind of wanted there. 99 vision and 99 short pass. Kind of a waste, in my opinion. A maestro will be another really good one. As you can see here, the vision goes up to 99. His free kick accuracy goes up, which is largely irrelevant. Short pass goes up to 99 and long pass up to 96. He gets to boost once again to the stats that we need in shot power and long shots in the shooting category. And then he goes up to 99 dribbling as well. So I do think that is definitely a chemistry style you can look at. And then there's a few others as well. And I feel, honestly, I'm a bit stuck with what I'm going to put on him. I think a marksman isn't a bad shout. You get the dribbling stats all the way up. You get the strength up by 10, taking up to 85 strength now. Gets the shot power and long shots boost as well. You're just not getting the passing boost. And he is best suited at the camera. What does a basic do for him? 99 cam of a basic. Um, and do you know what? That's a really good chem style for him as well. I think a basic might be the one we actually go for. I was considering an architect. Get the strength up to 90. Get the passing all the way up as well. He's a 98 cam of that. But with the basic, he's a 99 cam. And basic probably is the best camera style looking at that, to be honest. Um, that's a really, really good boost him, so I think we are going to go with the basic in the end. Quite a controversial decision, that, but I think you guys will understand why I've done that. We're going to go for Sterling playing in the cam roll. I'm going to bring Zidane down into midfield, drop Tellez in there. Pogba and Eriksen playing on the flanks. We could probably actually put Tellez down there now and play like that. But what I'm actually going to do, believe it or not, is I'm going to switch them around so I can get finesse shots off of them. Sterling at the cam roll, Jinnala and Dembele up front with St. Max, Pogba and Zidane in the midfield. We've also got Sterling on stay forward, which is really important to put them on in the narrow formations. So let's get into a game, guys, and see how Raheem Sterling performs. Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. All right then guys, first game with Raheem Sterling. Oh my God. This guy's got an absolutely woeful team. This one should be over quite quickly, unless he's given a free win. 
Um, yeah, it's a really, really strange team, that one. Let's get into it and see how Sterling does perform in this one. I'm going to try a few finesse shots with him. I do remember his uh, player of the month having really good finesses. So I'm hoping that this card is not too similar, or is very similar, sorry. I right, hear Sterling early doors, good sprint boosts. Just ran into Matip there. Is he going to give a free win? Oh, he is a strange, strange stuff. All right, here's Raz again. Oh, that's a good tackle. Jesus Christ, his Matip's on fire. Nice Americson there. Sterling made a really good run there into that space, but just couldn't find it. Janela into Sterling. He's got to score that. He's got to score that. It's kind of on me, though. Just a little bit. This, this is one strange, strange individual, I've got to say. Already, I, I do feel kind of in a weird position against this guy. Right, Sterling again. Drives into that space for that sprint boost. Sterling, what a finish. Even with his shot power, even with his body type, finishes that the way he does. I know he's got high shot power, but with his body type and just Sterling in general, whenever I've used Sterling, I've always thought he's had really bad shot power, and he has, to be fair. Oh, Dembele, what on earth is that? <clears throat> I guess the servers have gone a little bit stinky, but no excuse, of course. Good defending there from Ericsson. Into Raz. Can Raz find that into Ginola? Yes, he can. Back into Raz as well. Looks for that pass into Ginola again. Ginola's actually tackled Matip there. Oh, this guy's actually a good defender. Fair play to him. Sterling again. Oh, it's an awful pass from Ginola. Oh, Matip's just on fire in this one. Here goes Darwin. Oh, yikes. Surely I can't concede. Nice, good stuff. This guy's playing out quite a high line as well. <clears throat> Pretty good pass from Raz there. It's an awful, awful take from Janela. <clears throat> and it's an awful finish. It's an absolutely woeful finish, to be honest. Strange stuff going on here. I, I just feel quite uncomfortable playing this guy for some weird reason. Sterling, Janela. Oh my God, so unlucky. So unlucky in this one. Go on, Pogba. Oh my God. All right, there we go. Sterling again. His, his build-up play has been great, to be fair. Other than that pass there, but that's on me, really. Boys, these servers are dreadful today. Sterling. Oh, what a goal that is. What a goal. Now, he is going to get bodied quite easily against like the strong midfielders and stuff, right? But I suppose he kind of makes up for that with how good his dribbling is, and his dribbling does feel incredible, as you'd expect it to. His sprint boosts are so good as well. Oh my god, that's got to be a red card, that. No? Okay. Never mind then. I do want to try Finesse with Raz. Oh, what are you doing, guy? Just leave the game, honestly. Play. Great play. Sterling again. Oh, I've readed it. It was a bad effort, though. Anyway, it took too long. Nice. Nice. Oh, he is going to struggle there. If you, if you can't just, like, left it dribble past players, he is going to be a bit of a nuisance there. His finishing is great, though. I mean, he's hit the post there, but his finishing feels really, really solid. Obviously, with the 99 finishing, it should do, and it certainly does. Nice from St. Max there. Into Raz again. Let's try a finesse with him. Raz with a finesse shot! Mm, poor. Poor, 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 poor there. Nice from Tellez. Into Sterling. Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on, guys, but this guy's Matip is it, genuinely the best centre-back on the game right now. I can't quite believe it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to bring back some highlights in this one. Nice. And then boost. Good pass from Sterling. Into Ginola. Great pass from Sterling there, and it's 3-0. Brilliant stuff there. Oh, that's nice from Raz. Oh, that's a really nice play from Sterling, and it's 4-0 with Ericsson. Oh, what a counter-attack. Sterling. Oh, Sterling, that's a joke. Oh, my God. Good play again. Sterling again. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a goal from Sterling. What is going on with these players? Oh, that's nice. That's brilliant. What a goal from Sterling that time. It's good from Sterling again. Janela scored. Very nice. Oh, Raz. Oh, Raz. Sterling. Oh, it almost worked. Oh, Sterling, that's dirty. Oh, it's 4-2. What a goal. All right, guys, so two games with Sterling, five goals and one assist. Now, 
Before we actually talk about this card, um, I've got to say that the, the gameplay has been really bad today. And um, the second player I played against was a really good opponent as well. The games you would have just, all the goals you would have just seen the highlights from. Really, really good player. Now, this Sterling card is quite a strange one, right? Because I don't really think he's good enough to play striker. Certainly not lone striker. You probably get away from it in a two striker formation. Um, but he is extremely, extremely weak. Um, you know, it says he's got 75 strength there and up to 80 with the chem style on or the basic on. He does not feel that strong at all. He feels very, very weak. You know, he is five foot seven. He's got the small body type. He's very, very skinny in game. So it makes sense. But I just want to warn you about that. He is really, really, really weak. Um, dribbling on this card is incredible. And not just the sprint boost on him. His skill moves are insane. Like they perform so quickly. Um, in terms of doing like ball rolls, they seem to just perform quicker, be more responses, responsive with him. And Elastico's a reverse Elastico's absolutely out of this world with this Raheem Sterling card. Um, in terms of passing, his passing is very meta, considering he's more of a winger. Um, really enjoyed his passing, especially at the cam roll. He was really good there with his passing ability. Good through balls, good driven passes, good double Xs. Didn't really get to try over the tops, but I imagine they would be very good as well. He's really good in the passing department, which was kind of surprising, but kind of were expecting it as well. Now, as we get into the shooting, there are a few points here that I want to make very, very clear. His long range finesse shots aren't that good. Um, even though he's got the finesse shot trait, he doesn't really feel that good in terms of long range green time finesses. <clears throat> if you watch the gameplay, <clears throat> excuse me, um, what you'll see is I was really struggling two times shots with him, or more so finesse shots, because he's got different animations to the rest of the players on the game. The like kind of time frame is different on Sterling to other players, or the players that just have the normal FIFA kind of animations, you know, like Telez, like Dembele, etc., etc. This card seems to just like have a, like an extra few second delay whenever I try to time finesse shots with him. So um, not as easy to time finesse as with, but we did time a few, and they still weren't that great. The, the keeper was gobbling them up, no problem. So don't be expecting too many good long range finesses with him. General finishing though is disgusting with this card. It's that accurate, it usually goes in off the post. There's a lot of goals that we do score where he slams them in off the post and absolutely crazy. In terms of pace, really, really awesome in terms of pace as well. Um, really likes his pace. Just feels unbelievable in terms of just running with the ball, skilling with, you know, just doing skill moves with him. Weak foot was really good on him as well. I did like his weak foot quite a lot. Um, but I will say that this card just doesn't feel as good as um, St. Maximin, for example. I think St. Maximin is a fair chunk better, better than Sterling. And the, the big difference here is St. Maximin has really good strength, right? Um, his passing's basically the same as Sterling's. But obviously, St. Maximin costs how many squads and how much, how many coins. Sterling is quite cheap in comparison. So make sure you take that into account. Um, but he is still a really good card, guys. If you're looking for something a bit different, a bit unique, but doesn't have the quality to really play a striker, um, play him off the flanks or you want to play him left mid, right mid, I think he'd be really good there. But just make sure you know that this card is extremely weak and quite behind the power curve in terms of physicality. And it is a bit of an issue. The only way you're kind of going to get past a centre back is if you're a skiller, so I would say only really do this card if you are a skiller, in my personal opinion. Card is very good though, in terms of value, I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten. Quality of the card, I'm going to go for a nine out of ten, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell, so I'm sorry, guys, it's going to be it for me for now, so take care.